everybody, welcome back to Talk with Naya. So Tasha K has a lot to say about Beyonce's family. She spoke about Beyonce's mother, Tina Knowles, recently, and Tina actually had her home robbed and they took one million in cash from a safe. Listen to this. I know we got a lot of high members. I am a Beyonce fan. But just because I'm a fan doesn't mean I can't critique you. Whatever happened to the customer is always right. If I spend my money with you, I don't, I don't care if you gave me a free card to come get a chicken biscuit at Chick-fil-A. I'm still a customer. I am in your establishment. I am eating your food and I have the power to leave a Google review to let you know if that biscuit was soggy, if it was salty, if the chicken wasn't done, I have the right to speak my mind. And when you are charging that much money, and I'm a fan, and I voice a concern, I have a problem with that because why am I getting told off death threats? Because I'm leaving a Yelp review and a Google review on how you conducting your business. I just left three stars on Google. And when I leave three stars on Google, Instead of you saying, ma'am, I understand. Why is you sending your mammy over down to my house to attempt to gather me? Put on. Why are you sending this witch to my door? Yes, yeah, she Creole. Yes, yeah, she probably a witch. But my mother-in-law from Africa, don't play in Mecca right now. Just send me videos from Mecca on her pilgrimage. And God is a lot stronger than that darkness y'all got going on down there. But whatever happened to the customer is always right. Now, I know she pulling up to defend her grandbaby. As she should. As she should. But I didn't say anything bad about her grandbaby. I said Blue Ivy is beautiful. She has her life set up, but I feel that in this society that we live in, y'all giving awards to everybody. But I feel like just because, you know, her mom is who she is and her grandma is who she is and her dad is who she is, they're just giving her an award. And when I voice the concern as a patron, because I am a fan, you want to pull up like you're going to check me. Who going to check me, boo? Who going to check me? You in my house. I left a Google review. Fix it. Or we ain't got nothing else to talk about. Now when Miss Tina Knowles did this here. I said, what 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 I do, Miss Tina? Miss Tina followed me. I said, what I do, Miss Tina? Literally, she pulled up. I don't know if it was the energy because she knew that I was coming to say something. Cause I saw the video of her saying when people try to break my soul or diss me or when there's haters why do we always got to be haters why we can't just be like yo fix this why does it always have to be hating we can't complain you're in the business of service beyonce's in the business of business i'm not judging beyonce knows carter i'm judging beyonce the brand and blue ivy the trademark but you're not a trademark miss knows I, I was prepared to drag you more because I felt like whatever happens to the customer is always right. They say you want to pull up and call me a hater. Or maybe you here because you enjoy the wine, Miss Knowles. But I'm trying to figure out because I went scrolling through you. Because I was like, you, Miss Knowles, you are lucky. You lucky I wasn't around when Matthew Knowles was outside, outside. Way this man was outside with dark skinned chicks like me and gave Beyonce her first dark skinned sister that she don't claim. Child, you are lucky that I wasn't around. I missed that train. And like I said, you can go and boil chicken bones. My mother in law is in Mecca right now doing the pilgrim. And I will have her drop your name on the stone. trying to figure out like who's gonna check me because i'm trying to figure out like the way matthew dogged you out 
I had questions because I don't understand how a man like that, y'all don't ever claim him. He's never on the tours anymore. If he got to buy his own tickets to come. Y'all mad that the man said the only reason Beyonce is famous is because she likes skin, but he prefers the black community. He's not going to disown his black babies that look like me. You wearing all that black, Miss Knowles, but Mr. Matthew didn't think it was black enough. And that paper mache makeup you got going on. Y'all remember paper mache? Flour, water, newspapers. You put it up, you can build a face, put some red lipstick on it, put a wig on it. That's Miss Knowles. Y'all think nobody can drag them because they're the royal family. That dress is not giving royalty. It's because I'm trying to figure out how you got a nice, chocolate, handsome husband. And when people Google you, the first name that comes up is Tina Knowles. Yeah, she got lost up there in the back, but when you come to the page, you don't see that. Hey, is your name still Tina Knowles? Don't, 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 don't try to tell me it's a household name. Not the way Matthew ran it down there to the projects with them dark skin alleged prostitutes that he impregnated and you hid the babies from the public the same way Beyonce is hiding Jay-Z's alleged babies. Don't play with me. I say, go look just like you. She moving just like you and we still trying to figure out who that little girl was that was sitting beside Blue that looked like she was older than Blue with Jay-Z on the beach and they would eat ice cream. Who is that little girl? Did you teach her to hide side babies? Allegedly. Who is she? Now all I'ma say, Miss Knows, is I respect you, and I respect my elders. But what you're not gonna do is try to argue with a customer. Ain't nobody said nothing about that little girl. She is a beautiful little girl. Her life is set up. She's very privileged, but we're not going to like and enjoy everything. I know y'all do because she is an heir to a billion, not a billion dollar empire. It's all over her. And she's shitting on us. We know that her shit is made of diamonds. But we don't have to agree with everything. Ain't reason your ex-husband didn't agree with everything you did. Listen, like I said, I respect you. And I respect my elders. I hope that you pulled up as a wino. Stop throwing shade at me. Stop trying to argue with the customers. Because customers will always give you this smoke. And with that being said, now I gotta go. And next time, you better send your daughter. Now, speaking of home robberies, it looks like they also got Damson and Idris as well. But Tasha K is going crazy online first she was talking about blue ivy and her dancing skills now she's talking about tina Knowles, the outside baby the divorce all of this stuff i mean she must want to get a call from beyonce but in other news erica banks and the owner of the label 1501 carl crawford are still going at it he made a video and shared that erica does in fact owe him money and that she's not making no money for him even making no money for me to take I'm a surprise just as y'all live the hill. We we greedy and we stealing money. I'm 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 still trying to figure that one out. Cause last I checked, we five hundred thousand in a hole with one of them. And I ain't gonna even get on the other one <laughs> what they owe. Cause I know, you know, I'll be in court saying that I was bullying and all that type of shit. I wake up to shit every time. This in the label. What the label do? The label didn't do nothing. We were pushing and, and getting behind everything. The group of people that do attack me, those are the people that, that want to see it from, from the beginning anyway. So any little thing happen, y'all like excited about it. And y'all like, oh yeah, see it's two, it's him. No, it's not me, bro. What you mean? All I do is get them to a level two, yeah. <laughs> they get to a level two, yeah, they probably need higher management and new stuff. Yeah, but there's no need to like... No, that ain't nothing but a conversation. Everybody think I owe Megan money. Everybody, and then this girl come out telling me I'm greedy. Cause she know that me and Megan going through this situation. So this is a good time to try to like press the issue. Cause you, you seem, you think everybody will believe you because you know I'm going through this with Megan. 
So you feel like this is a good time to try to like to try to like hit me. But but you know, I just come I just come ready for everything. Well Erica wasn't too happy about Carl saying this in the video and said if I owed five hundred K wouldn't I, wouldn't I be stuck in a recording contract right now? Y'all have a nice day. Now, she did put in her last song she dropped that they're greedy, they steal money, she ain't with them no more. So it's just very interesting because it just validates everything that Megan Thee Stallion was saying about them. So yeah, it looks like Carl is trying to clean up as much as he can. But I mean, I think she got a point. If she owes some money, how would she be able to leave the contract? I don't know. I don't know. Now let's move on. The Barbie movie premiere happened and of course Nicki Minaj was there. She looks great at the premiere and she even spoke about what it meant for her to be a part of this project. And I'm glad that they thought of me because I'm excited just like everybody else is excited to see this movie. How could they not think of you? I mean, <laughs> it's right there, right? I know, I've been saying Barbie my whole career and yeah. so it's a very full circle moment. When they now speaking of Nicki Minaj, it also came out that Drake will be having Nicki Minaj featured on his next album called For All The Dogs. And a lot of people are excited about this because they collab every once in the blue moon. And you know, usually when they collab, it's a pretty good song. So I definitely can't wait to hear his next album and also them collabing again. Now, let's move on because these aren't the only two people coming out with new music. JT is releasing a solo track on Friday called No Bars, which her fans have been begging for her to release. So are y'all here for some solo music from JT? Now, remember, she did speak with Angie Martinez about why she wanted to be in a rap group instead of going solo and everything like that. And how she was kind of like scared to do things by herself. Like she likes to do things with Carisha. Say this, that. Mm -hmm you guys really trying to ride this out like mm -hmm. there's no solo projects mm -mm. there's no i mean lord willing right but there's no breakups no 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 no. i feel like we at a stage we grown mm -hmm. we started this shit we wasn't that young but we were young mm -hmm. and it was all new to us and i feel like we had a stage in our life where we kind of figured it out and we fig we we are figuring out that we are powerful together and we are powerful with separate so we can make money both ways you get what I'm trying to say? so I'm really shocked that she is releasing some solo music on Friday I can't wait to hear it I hope she continues to make solo music and music with Carisha as well because I like the city girls together too but I definitely am curious to see what JT got by herself okay well let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next one bye